National Vanilla, Vanilla Milkshake Day is today. Who knew there was such a day? This is really exciting for all of our sweet tooths in here. So we thought we could shake things up a bit. And to help us out, we have Courtney Freeland here on behalf of our partner, the United Dairy Industry of Michigan. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. It's National Van Vanilla Milkshake Day. So we're excited. So everybody loves a good vanilla milkshake. Yep. It's a favorite of so many people. However, some might think that it could be just a little bit boring, but we're going to amp up your average good old delicious yummy vanilla milkshake, right? Yeah, these are popping up all across restaurants across the United States, Pinterest. So we are going to max out our milkshakes today. All right. So we've got some images of some vanilla milkshake fix ups. Let's take a look at them. Ooh la la. Yeah, so we have sprinkles, cookies, cherries. So this is a little bit on the simpler side, but then we oh. get pretzels involved, syrups, cereal, marshmallows. Good stuff. And now then that one is phenomenal. What is your that? Pieces. Um, yeah, that, use that frosting on the rim there to make it a little bit prettier. So lots of Good different stuff. options. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, there's really no limit to what you can use to dress up a vanilla milkshake, right? Because you've got it a beautiful spread out here. We have a wide variety of different options right here in front of me. This is my magical unicorn milkshake that I've created. Um, so we have cupcakes, cookies, donuts, wafers, lollipops, cereal, you name it, you can put it on a vanilla milkshake. All right, so is there a limit when it comes to dressing up a vanilla milkshake? Should we kind of stop at a certain point or? I don't think there's a limit. Okay, good. <laughs> that was the answer I was looking for. I don't think there's a limit. I say go, go big or go home. Okay, so let's let's get started. You've okay. got me set up right here. I right? got you set up. Yep. So the key to making it pretty on the outside is putting that frosting around the rim. Ah. So I've already frosted yours, okay. and then you can stick stuff on it. I love it. So whatever you want to stick on it, there's cookies, there's candy, pretzels, yeah, I'm whatever you'd too. like. So it's really easy. You just and I could just use my hands. Yeah, to and you just kind of frost you know real lightly and then you can stick on there whatever you want whatever you want so yeah I'm gonna pretend I'm being healthy and I'm gonna put some almonds on one side okay you know some good fat to balance out all the sugar that's right good stuff and then you've got all kinds of like classic cereals yeah so bubbles. um yeah so that's where you can add some color if you want mm -hmm. to um some you know chocolate a lots of browns but if you want to give it a pop of those colors those cereals are a great a great way to do that. Why not? And you know what? This is probably stuff that we probably have around the house already, right? Yeah, they're all pretty snacky foods um, or easy to grab at the grocery. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of fun there. Okay, so how am I doing? You're doing a great job. I see lots of variety in your in your rim. Yeah, I feel like you're doing, let's keep it interesting. <laughs> let's keep it interesting. So then you just um, add in your, your whipped cream, right? Alrighty. Of course, everyone needs some whipped cream. You can't go wrong there. I'll do a little boop extra. And then this is where you start just sticking stuff in. Awesome. So, you know, you can stick in some candy bars. Mm, I think I'm going to go for my favorite. Is this a Twix? It is. All right. Yeah. This is this is my kryptonite, everyone, the Twix candy bar. Now we all know. Yes. You sold yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can put some chocolate chips on there, you know, whatever you want to Exciting. You know what? I dress it up. Yeah, what are go. these cookies called again? Those are those like animal crackers, the frosted animal yeah, crackers. Frosted animal Animal crackers. Yeah. I'm gonna do some of these. We'll do. You can also use bamboo sticks. Mm -hmm. um, so I just took some, you know, your barbecue sticks, and you can dive them into your milkshake and then stick stuff on it. Oh, like that's okay. how you put the donuts on. If you wanted to put a donut on, you would stick it through the Ooh, skewer. Look at that. Right, and then it easy. stays in place a little bit. I like that. Look at that. There you go. That one, the unicorn one is kind of killing it. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, these are fun, but I get it. This is so much fun. It's great for a party. To put in, you know, we always do build your own this bar. Right. Build your own milkshake bar. Let people go crazy. You can use little cups for kids yeah. so they're not, you know, quite over the top. Right. But lots of options. But you could do kind of more grown-up flavors too, like salted caramel. Yes. Or maybe even add a little, I don't know, something adults would like you in could. there. You could. Little adult 
beverage mix something. Fun fact about yeah. milkshakes, the first milkshakes back in 1885 were actually adult milkshakes made of whiskey, cream, and eggs. So you're right on point there with the whole adult milkshake. How did I know this already? <laughs> How did I know this already? Courtney, this is so much fun. Thank you for all of these great ideas. Yeah, this our pleasure. Awesome. So for more information and, and to get more great recipe ideas, visit the website milkmeansmore.org. Thanks again. Thank you. Chase it over to you.